During this short video, we'll discuss how you can create punch items in SkySight. Prior to creating your first punch list item, you can set custom attributes or information fields. This allows you to switch from our default punch list form to a custom one based on your needs. You may have opted to create these at the same time as creating your project. If not, click the More icon on your project and choose Settings. In the resulting window, once you navigate to the punch list tab, you can add up to five custom attributes. Once set, choose Save. Once you have your custom attributes set, you can begin the process of creating your punch list items. The punch creation process can begin at multiple locations. You can choose the punch option at the project level or click on project management and choose punch from the resulting window. The punch management window will offer you the option to manage stamps. Since projects will often have a long punch list assigned to many different individuals, companies, or groups, creating stamps is a great way to help your project team members differentiate their punch items from others. Within the Manage Stamp window, name the stamp and enter a stamp title. This can often be as simple as illustrated here with the stamp being the company initials and the name being the full company name. Another option is the stamp being a task abbreviation and the title being the full task. If you're creating a punch from within the viewer, stamps can be created on the fly. This will be discussed when we go over creating punches from within the viewer. When starting at the project, folder, or document level, after clicking on the punch option, you will be brought into the punch management window where you will choose create punch. At this point, regardless of how you access this punch page, the process will be identical. Click on the down arrow to select the stamp to assign the punch. If you didn't create the stamp previously, whether because you access the punch page from the viewer or simply have a new one you want to add, select the down arrow and then click on the Add New button. This will create a new stamp. Next, you will want to assign the punch to one or more project team members. Because of the collaborative nature of punch list items, you can only send a punch to an internal or an external licensed user. To open this window, click on the address book icon. Choose the user or users you want to send the punch to, and then choose the Select User button. Now you can add as much detail as necessary to the punch. All lines except the due date are optional, however it's recommended that you add as much detail as possible. Select the calendar icon to select the due date. Finally, you can attach documents, files, or photos to the punch. Select the Add Attachment button to do so. These files can be uploaded from your computer or files from within your project. These attachments can also be from your project photo gallery. This is an excellent way to ensure the recipient has a clear understanding of the area in question, especially if the photos are taken from a mobile device with location services activated. In this case, not only will they have the photo, but they will also have the GPS coordinates from where it was taken. You can attach as many documents to the punch as necessary. Once you have all the documents associated, select Create Punch. It will now immediately be sent to your recipient and you will be brought to your punch management window. Punch management is discussed in a separate video. In addition to creating punches beginning from within the project management window, you can also create a punch from within the SkySight viewer. An advantage of working through the viewer is the ability to zoom into a section on the document and post the punch directly at that section as opposed to associating the punch to a document in its entirety. Once you've identified the section in question, select the punch icon from the toolbar. You will see a punch tag appear. Drag that tag onto the document and drop it where it's desired. Once dropped, you will briefly see the new icon. Then SkySight will bring up the create punch window. At this point, the punch creation process is identical to what we showed earlier. Now, not only can the punch be viewed from within the project management window, but it can also be viewed from within the SkySight viewer, shown at the area of the document in question with the stamp clearly visible. Punch is created through the punch management window and therefore associated to an entire document will not appear within the SkySight viewer. Regardless of how or where created, once it is created, the recipients of a punch are notified via email. To access the punch, they will click on view punch from within the email. They will be brought to the SkySight page where after logging in, they will arrive at the punch management window where they can view the details, including the attachments of the punch. Further information of how punches are managed will be discussed in the punch management video.